Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is the Dynasty Chronicles episode number 20. And as we can see, uh, it's night time, the two girls are asleep and the two adults are away. They went away on a two day free vacation, you may recall. And in the meantime, the two girls went to school in the last episode and Dolly went through something of a makeover. Now, at the end of the last video, I noticed that. Um, Oh, no, she's going to turn away on her side. That her makeup was working in an unexpected way. In particular, that she had the makeup on. I'll just pause this here for a second. While she was in bed, asleep, um, but not always when she was uh, out in one of her casual outfits. A little bit of research discovered that you can actually unlock the makeup in Kaz, uh, just like you can uh, the hairstyles. So it's different for each different outfit. So, uh, while I was away, not recording, <laughs> it's offline if you will, uh, I, uh, I tried to, to fix that and it looks like it's worked at least, so uh, so Dolly is no longer going to bed in her makeup. It would have been nice to have, have her hair a little more tousled perhaps while she was asleep, as uh, for when she got up and before she got dressed, but uh, there's no real sort of... <sighs> unkempt hairstyle that really kind of matched I think what she had the cut she's actually got sort of uh, short across the sides and, and longer and styled on top uh, I'm no expert on hair cuts as my, my friends will attest I'm sure so I've just left it like that so I mean it's a game isn't it these things happen anyway um, we will have them wake up in a moment and we'll see what they get up to during oh and uh, this is interesting news the adults will be returning in two hours time it's six o'clock in the morning uh, better make sure the house is clean and that's interesting because the girls I think uh, had a school project now can you actually tell what that is is it an opportunity um, she had one from no it's, sorry it's not, I think it was an after-school activity wasn't it um, so I was kind of concerned that they would be doing that uh, while the adults were still away. So I'd have nothing to actually do in this episode. But that's not going to be the case. Okay, so where are we? So Dolly's our first person up. Uh, she's getting a bit hungry. She wants to catch another steak, does she? I think we'll let her do that. I'd like her to catch another steak. I mean, her long-term objective is to be a zoologist, so she's catching things. Um, do, do snakes count as that? I think it does minor pets only so not cats and dogs and horses oh yes as I said she's got two out of twenty so that's fine those are the two snakes downstairs so we're happy for her to catch another snake not quite sure where we'll put it and we anyway right so let, let me stop faffing around and uh, let's get her eating so do we have any uh, we have no leftovers uh, I think actually we had the, oh, I can't look like Click on Deborah. I think Deborah was the last one. To, sorry, for, oh, I'm waving this mouse about. Uh, I'm not putting it under control. Um, I think Deborah actually cooked the last meal here, so we'll carry on doing that. So Debbie will just take breakfast uh, straight out of a packet. So she'll have some cereal. There we go. Get her organised doing that. I did comment um, in the last video about how in the game I tend to keep my sims in their, their nightwear uh, right until the very moment almost they have to leave for work or school or just going out uh, quite unlike uh, what I normally do in real life and it seems I'm not the only one that does that had some comments on the forum uh, and, and personal messages from the forum but uh, there, there are other simmers that do the same thing because uh, my suspicion is that oh and Desiree's up what does she need to do Oh, she's quite hungry as well. Uh, actually, let's get her bladder needs sorted first because Dolly will need to come up and do that shortly as well. She'll have a yogurt. That will do nicely. Okay, so what was I saying? Oh, yes, yeah, so I just kind of think it's probably like what we'd like to do if we could get away with it in real life, which is lounge around the house in our pyjamas, our PJs or, or whatever uh, until we actually had to, to go outside or deal with other people outside the family 
you know, the school bus is going to be here in an hour so I think yeah, we should have time to, to get them ready so we'll send Dolly upstairs to have a shower she doesn't want a shower she wants to use the toilet first that's that and then she'll have a shower and what's uh, Desiree's having her breakfast that's good and when they return so when they go off to school rather the, uh, the the old folks Carl and Deborah should return damn it another clerk not making it to their ship I've, I've actually got I must have quite a few sort of retail outlets shops and, and the like bakeries and I've got the uh, the car dealership uh, running which all have registers on them so there's probably plenty of, of sort of locations for for sales clerks and shop assistants not to turn up for work uh, Deborah you're what you're a very conscientious young lady so she'll she'll take care of them. that's good uh, you just need I think to to brush your teeth wash your hands then you'll be ready for school and Dolly yep yeah. I think we will send them to school today uh, I had it in mind to uh, to make Dolly a little bit more rebellious uh, following on from the tattoo and the, uh, the new outfits the new look but we'll do that a little later after school I think so she's off to school And Desiree, how long does it take you to brush, to brush your teeth, dear? Come on. There she goes. Right. Splendid. Now, hopefully... <laughs> Hang on, where's the car gone? The fixer-upper. Who's got that? Ah, right. This is kind of strange. The, the car was parked in the drive all along. But uh, at the moment, the old folks. Uh, oh, that's. Oh, very. <laughs> that's like what they, it turned all in invisible. Well, they have returned from their free vacation. Again, I got I got a a, a message from uh, Angel Jess, I think it was, on the forums, um, just warning me that sometimes. Uh, Sims don't actually return from uh, their vacations either to uh, World Adventures or, or these free vacation things. Uh, I think I have had. Don't, I, no, I don't think I've had that. I have heard reports of it uh, elsewhere, but uh, it's not. Uh, I've not been fortunate enough to have that happen. That might have given a, an interesting story twist to the story if that had happened. We really do need to speed this car up, don't we? It's very slow. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so let's just wait for that. They'll, they'll turn up home in a moment. So, uh, what do we want? I don't think. I think Dolly will be more interested in making friends. I think Desiree's okay for making an effort. Ooh, was she late with her homework? It was only eight. Actually, what she could do, she could work on that for the moment. That was Dolly's homework. Well, she did it. <laughs> I can't remember from one episode to the next. I mean, a real author, a real storyteller would would make notes and, and keep track. Oh, that's a good idea um, of what they're up to. Hello, who's that? Oh, that must be the paper girl. No, we don't want that. We'll get rid of that. The dead old newspaper. Okay, well, I think what the what we're going to have to deal with here now is how the family is going to continue after uh, Malia's death. Now, what I'm thinking here is that uh, Carl obviously is still upset. Oh, he's, he's lost all his wishes from from the vacation. Well, that's, that's strange, isn't it? Um, grow Forbidden Fruit, Redeem Festival tickets. Does he have any tickets? 107! Oh my goodness, <laughs> where did they get those from? That must have been a collection of, of his and Malia's. I well, I never... Right, okay, you can redeem some of them, I think. Uh, if I can find a way of doing that. 
I don't think uh, Deborah will do that. She might get into Herbie meals. Okay. Well, I think what's what we're going to see here. Uh, what's uh, what their needs? Uh, she's fine. I think what Carl will do. We've got a lot of produce here, uh, which was collected by him and by Malia before her passing a few episodes ago. So we'll get that sold in the consignment store so we can clear that down. Oh, I've got a death. I don't want a death. Where's that come from? Well, I don't remember us having a death flower in the inventory before. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want that. Because it upsets the. Uh, the legacy. There's a risk that they don't actually die. With that, as I recall. Okay, right. So what I'm, I'm thinking, let's get him to the consignment store anyway. Oh, and here we are in the consignment store. There are two. Ah, there he is. Oh, it is quite early in the morning. What a curious outfit, Mr. Chesterfield. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> We'll have uh, uh, sorry, Carl, come over here and uh, sell uh, that uh, produce. He's okay for his needs, as indeed is Deborah. Does she have any festival tickets? Thirty-seven. I suppose she could uh, redeem some of those as well. Now, what I'm thinking is that uh, they have to re-evaluate what they're doing in the house now how the family is going to continue and uh, Deborah is going to make a decision and that decision I think is going to be that oh she she can only make waffles she needs to learn to cook I wonder if we've got a cookbook in the house I'll look for that in a moment well, so I think what Deborah's going to going to do here um, having spent a few days with Dad and discussed uh, what uh, what the future is, is she's actually going to postpone her university studies. She's not going to go back and complete her degree at this point. She's going to be essentially the new mother of the family and take care of the younger girls and indeed her father and keep the house running. She's going to continue her relationship with Johnny, of course, and that may hopefully blossom into uh, a new family. Oh, and there are the girls going on their field trip. I wonder, did Desiree finish her homework? Oh, that must be the new homework. <laughs> I do not. Okay, so uh, so Deborah is going to have a, a change of life style now, I think. She's going to become a little bit, little bit more settled. She's not going to progress her degree, but she will keep um, keep working on her street art. I mean that that is her passion. I mean that that is indeed her lifetime wish, as I recall. So she'll need to do that. Now, do you actually have any herbs? Uh, I'm looking at the wrong person. Uh, you probably don't, do you? Carl will have all the the herby stuff. And you're not hungry yet, so that you can just put away those. Oh, and there's Carl's. <laughs> right. So he's in the shop. So let me. I'll just take a a brief pause here in the recording while I dispose of uh, a lot of this produce. Okay, so that's done. Uh, Carl has consigned uh, a good load of his. Uh, high quality produce. I like to keep some in reserve. I, I, I work on the number three for some reason. It's, it's what I do. One of my, my little quirks. <laughs> so it works the way I play the game. So keep three. So he's got one to plant with to replace uh, any plant that, uh, that dies off. Uh, and a couple if they need them for cooking. And that should tide them over. So what will Carl do next? Is there a festival in town? Let me have a quick look at that. Well, there is, as you can see, a small summer festival here, uh, which we've been to before, I think, with the family. Uh, that thing that was on the blog. <laughs> I 
Oh, this is new. I ju did I put that there? Oh, these are new games. It's an archery thing. Oh, that could be fun. What? Oh, those are fireworks, aren't they? Right, now how do we... What's this redeeming tickets thing? How does that work? We'll redeem tickets here. Let him let him do that. Uh, we'll send him off to the festival ground uh, on his own. <laughs> he's he's got these tickets burning a hole in his pocket, and so he's just out on town, just wandering around, getting, getting rid of them. Well, Deborah's at home. So while Deborah puts away the leftovers, uh, I'll just have a quick check of the bookshelves. See, we have a cookery book here. I think we should have. We had lots of books uh, that they bought and, and brought home. So let me just quickly check that. And there is the cooking, so she could read that. That'll be a handy skill upgrade for her. What are the girls doing there on their day out? And Carl has a habit of going invisible. Okay, so he's on his way to the festival park. Deborah can carry on reading. Let's just wait for him to uh, to get to the park. And while he's doing that, Deborah is ready to jump into the frying pan of the culinary crafter, the kitchen specialist, the deliverer of delicacies. Take a lot of time behind the stove and in front of a cookbook, but Deborah will never be without company when everyone knows she can perfect their favourite foods. Whatever that means. <laughs> so, that sounds like promotional blurb to me. Ah! <laughs> right! Oh my goodness, it's taken a while to get there. Look, right, let's just check back on Deborah. About three, four, uh, several episodes again. <laughs> Sorry, several episodes uh, previously. I noticed this red flashing alarm here and I had no idea what it I think was it after Desiree's birthday I can't honestly remember uh, I, I noticed this red flashing light thing going on here under the, under the sofa and I had no idea what it was but a couple of people pointed out to me it was the uh, the prank indicator saying that someone had pranked that item and indeed they had and it's finally been been released uh, thankfully Des Deborah was at home alone when she sat on the uh, whoopee cushion <laughs> so she's well it says she's embarrassed uh, nobody noticed so uh, that's that's fine now she's not going to join the investigative career I think she's just going to be a self-employed artist um, creating her her murals and street art I wonder if you can be I wonder if that could be part of the, the self-employed career She's got no other wishes we want to deal with, as has uh, nobody else. Uh, it wants Desiree to stay out after curfew, and that's not going to happen. She's not that kind of girl. Um, ooh, Carl, could he take? We have got. A, I, I put. I put this in here. I think this telescope, because. I've been sent it as a gift, probably, as I recall, a long, long, long time ago, uh, by one of the, the forum friends, uh, one of my my, my uh, fellow simmers, uh, through the mailbox gift, and I just had to put it somewhere, so I put it out here. But I don't think anyone actually used it, so maybe Carl will. I mean, he does have um, the logic skill, uh, doesn't he? <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Um, I'm not sure if this helps that. I think it does, doesn't it? Um, so he he could use that searching the night sky for for Malia's star perhaps. Okay, so uh, let's get back to get back to Carl. Oh, there's every oh there's lots of people here. So we got Star Shoe, Danny Shoe. Get oh lots of shoes. <laughs> uh, you want a shoe? Oh, you are. Um, is any, oh, right, right. At least. <laughs> At least there are a couple of people here who aren't uh, members of the Shoe family. I didn't realise didn't realise they were that big. <laughs> uh, right, sorry, I don't want to do that. Let's just follow Carl. 
um, redeeming his tickets. I, I really don't worry about tickets and stuff uh, in my normal gameplay. So I've really no real idea <laughs> what happens. Put that skull down, Dolly, uh, on her field trips. Dolly is obviously uh, enjoying herself. Uh, where did they go? It's a field trip to some mausoleum somewhere, wasn't it, as I recall. So here's Carl redeeming his tickets at the concession stand. What will he get for those? Ooh! And lots of uh, fun things. Right, he's got a hundred and something, hasn't he? So he could, he doesn't really want a roller skating rink for the home. They could have a tanning booth, perhaps, or a horseshoe court, an inflato aqua lounge. Ooh, that's that's quite fun, isn't it? Um, what they could do, actually, let's take uh, a couple of fireworks just in case they have a party uh, so we'll take one of those one of those oh we can only take them individually can we oh, that's annoying isn't it oh I'm not happy about that <laughs> why just pick a oh you, I know you can't use control <sighs> that's, just, that's a shame okay now we'll take some rainbow sparklers Thank you. And red glare. A face melt of firework. A little maniac. And another rainbow sparkler. A holiday cannon. We've got 85 left. Uh, we'll take an inflato aqua lounge. Um, that is one of those, I'm not sure, one of those sliding things isn't it I think <laughs> so we'll take one of those 75 tickets left do we want a tanning booth at home I'm not sure mm. no I won't we'll take out a horseshoe court instead there we do that's done so what else do we want to, what does Carl want to do upgrade something Yep, that's one of his skills. Biologic book. Oh, why not? And uh, he's not going to learn the cooking skill. That's not what he's about. So he will just... He's not going to dance with his fellow. It's not his style. He'll talk about... A friendly introduction. Talk about the heat. And then he'll go home. Okay, so what's Deborah up to? So she's uh, reading her book. Let's fast forward a bit through that. Does she need an ice cream? No, she doesn't. Okay, and uh, Dolly's causing fuss on, on the field trip, crossing cavern, chasms. Oh, Carl's come home already. Right, now what he will do, I think, there's a man to work. What the young girls didn't do was look after the garden. Now look at this, all this plant needs tending and harvesting uh, and some dead plants as well. So I think he will uh, harvest and also, oh that's a dead one, and uh, tend the garden. Can he do that? He can. <laughs> small talk. Oh dear. Well, I, it was him doing the small talk. I, I shouldn't worry. Okay, well, that's, that's what he'll do. Okay. Uh, so, how much longer are the girls? All oh, the girls have nearly finished their field trips. I guess they'll be home soon. Okay, so what do we got? So, Dolly Slade got a souvenir from her trip to the mausoleum. And she had a great time. Desiree also had a souvenir. And she had a great time too. Well, that's fine. So what souvenir did they get? Ooh. A spooky graveyard poster. Okay. <laughs> right. 
fine. Oh, that's interesting. So, well, I'm just wondering, is that special seed something that was a, a gift, a souvenir from the mausoleum as well? Because it looks like Dolly's got two gifts, the, the graveyard poster and the uh, illustrated history of the zombie apocalypse. Uh, talking of zombie apocalypses, um, my uh, YouTube and forum friend Frozen OJ uh, is has a series of Let's Plays, uh, one of which is the Zombie Apocalypse Challenge for Sims 3. And I'll put a link to her channel in the description here. Right, so what are my girls up to? So Desiree's in. Uh, she could do with a bit of a clean up. I think she will go up and have a shower. And um, <laughs> Dolly's pleased that her prank paid off. How does she know that? Apart from the fact that Deborah's sat in the chair she pranked. I've no idea. These dirty surroundings. I'm not quite sure. Or oh, is that these tanks again? Well, these pets take so much looking after. No, it's not that. What is the dirty surrounding? Oh, it's be that expired newspaper, I imagine. I don't know. Oh, it's, well, it's gone now anyway. Right, sorry, so we need to have Dolly do something, don't we? She was going to catch a snake. So, let's see if she can do that. Uh, she probably doesn't want to see uh, Deborah and Carl to this right just now uh, because uh, she's had her makeover and got the tattoo and, she, and they haven't seen it yet. Uh, she had left the school before the uh, the adults returned from their holiday. So she's probably going to be keeping this a little secret for a little bit longer. Right, so let's see if we can find her a snake. Let's make use of her collection helper. And she wants to find a snake. Let's have a look on the map. Okay, so <laughs> Come on, there must be a snake here somewhere. Right, we have one all the way up here, apparently. Is that the only one? That is probably the same location we found uh, previous snakes in. But we'll send her up there anyway. She'll watch it for a bit and then catch it. It's a garter snake again. Which I think her existing snakes are of that genus as well. Uh, so snake info. Oh, that's a scar scarlet king snake, but uh, Franny is a San Francisco garter. So it might be a different garter snake. Uh, I don't know how many different types there are. Okay, uh, so that's fine. Carl's away doing the gardening. And Deborah's about to skill up and get her first level cookery skill. Uh, it's about time someone did the laundry as well, actually. Uh, perhaps Desiree can do that after the shower. Yeah, she'll do that. And she's still got homework to do as well. Well, they have, having spent all afternoon on a field trip. <laughs> Oh, that's her last painting. Let me get that on a wall somewhere. Uh, I'll go there. Thank you, so she can paint another one. Oh, I didn't realise Deborah had a, a skill already in cooking. Right, so she's skilled up to level two. That's fine. I think we can uh, close the chapter on that book for the moment. And what she could do, I, what I'll do is I'll get some herbs across from Carl's inventory to her, and uh, then we'll deal with her needs as well. While well, Desiree takes care of of the laundry, so bear with me a moment, and I'll just uh, pop.
Oh, oh, Carl must be in the greenhouse. There he is. I'll just deal with this inventory uh, and get some herbs across so that uh, Deborah can use them in, in her cooking. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so that's all sorted out. I've also placed down uh, the fireworks that uh, Carl bought with his uh, vessel jiggets and the, um, the lounger thing here which I think is actually supposed to sit around a pool like it said in the description really but I've got it and it's, they're just going to use it to lounge around um, <laughs> in their back garden okay right so uh, Deborah's uh, sorry Dolly's on her way ah she's watching the snake now right we need Deborah to uh, to do something what are her needs right, what she'll do uh, she can watch TV for a moment. Car is okay. And Desiree is looking after the, the laundry. Thank you very much. And that's her done. Uh, what she'll do, I think she'll... Uh, she'll join her sister. Yes, get out of there then. I know it's noisy. <laughs> Big woman. Uh, she'll join her sister. It's not a terribly good angle for watching the TV, is it, that? But there you are. And, uh, they'll discuss uh, the time off and the changes for the family. They plan to make out. Ooh, and uh, Dolly has captured another garter snake. Uh, can we tell which one it is? Oh, it's just a, a common garter snake. So that's something new. Okay. Right, she will come back home. So just uh, sorry, sort of rushing across the house. And we will find somewhere to put that. Uh, here, <laughs> probably. <laughs> and uh, the girls will do their homework. And that, I think, will be it for this particular session. So we've, uh, we've come to a decision on what Deborah's going to do. Uh, in the next episode she'll be telling Johnny all about that I think she'll be staying at home still carrying on with her murals and her street art but uh, she's going to take over from Marley in terms of running the house rather than returning to university the girls, uh, uh, the young girls have had a, a, a fun day out at the mausoleum and have come back with posters and souvenirs and uh, Dolly is continuing with her collection of uh, small animals and Carl is just now whiling away time in the uh, in the garden uh, tending and harvesting and uh, well we'll see what he gets up to in the next episode so for now from me Ajax Post thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you enjoyed it or perhaps if you didn't or want to leave some <laughs> some comment or oh, I can't leave just yet what's happened here Carl has harvested, harvested enough perfect fruits and vegetables to complete the botanical boss skills challenge. Right, so well, I wasn't aiming to do that. Uh, it was one of Malia's uh, objectives, but hey ho, <laughs> he's done that too now, so that's fine. Uh, anyway, so I say, uh, by all means, please leave a like or a comment if you've not done so already and want to uh, keep track of new videos as I upload them. Please do subscribe. But from me, Ajax Post and the Dynasty Chronicles, bye for now.